cut fibers in a unidirectional compost system will need you to specify unique material coordinate system that is local to the curvature of the fibers. This is very important, especially when you're modeling structures that have an isotropic or autotropic material properties. In this video, I will show you how to do so in Abacus. Let's sit back and relax as we get started with this modeling. Hello. My name is Dr. Michael Okreke. Welcome to CM Videos. This is a YouTube channel where we try to help you create effective computational modeling solutions to whatever computational problem. So this video is part of my Abacus Tips and Tricks series. Um, if you're interested in any kind of videos like this, then there's, these videos are in this playlist for you to use. So I'm going to say that this video is viewer requested. And the one that requested this video is CRU Wang, uh, if that's the way it's pronounced. And the key thing is that it says at the end of this comment that could you please do a video on giving material orientation for core fibers when you are free. And I started looking into this and this is why I decided to make this video. So the key thing we need to do to consider here is that ultimately you're going to get a core fiber that look like this so there is a global reference frame that is attached to the system here and with this global reference frame okay everything is all around the x-axis so this is x-axis this is x-axis which is the main fiber direction however this is not a pure x-axis behavior so if you really want to specify the properties of this correctly you need to then specify a coordinate system that tracks the variation of the curvature of this system and so you're looking at things like this and this will be what we're calling a material coordinate system. Within Abacus speak, the global coordinate system tends to have this XYZ um, labeling to it, while the material or the local coordinate system tends to have this 1, 2, and 3 labeling to it, where 1 corresponds to X, 2 corresponds to Y, and 3 corresponds to Z. So if you look at here and there, there is a correlation between the two at least at the start of this fiber. But as you start moving along the fiber, that material coordinate system starts changing until you get to the end. And so what we want to then do is to specify this material coordinate system for the fiber that in this case is transversely autotropic. And with that, we can then go ahead and specify its material properties and it will be correct. So let's go back into Abacus and then quickly show you how this can be done. So here we are in Abacus and first thing you quickly see here is that this is our unidirectional composite and this unidirectional composite have got this arrangement of misaligned fibers or you could call them curved fibers and the idea is that we want to be able to see what happens here. So if I just go back to section assignment and let me just suppress. Okay. So what we could see, so you could see right away the fibers that are kind of inside the system. So these are the ones that we need to specify properties for these fibers in the local coordinate system. So what are we going to do? So the first thing we need to basically do here is we need to remove the metrics and leave the fiber in place. So I'll go to the top here and say remove. So I quickly come down here and change this to cells. Then I hover around where the metrics is. Okay. And click done. So that leaves me only with the fiber. And these are the fibers that I want to assign material properties right away in the local coordinate system because the matrix is isotropic so it can inherit this global coordinate system and that is fine. So within the curved fiber UD composite system here, so what we're going to look out for is the orientation or you could go in here. So the orientation, assign material orientation, if you click on assign material orientation, which regions we want to. So we just select the whole region that we're interested in and click OK. So what it's saying is that how are you going to specify the material coordinate system for this? Obviously, if this system was all non-curved straight fibers, then we can work with this system. Use the default orientation or other method. Or if we have specified a different datum coordinate system, we could use it. But if you click on here, so what it tries to do automatically is to assign a global coordinate system to everything. So if you look closely, so everything is being assigned a global coordinate system, even this curve fibers. So it's pretending that this is the X axis. Meanwhile, the X axis actually is in a, con in a curve. So what we are going to do is to tweak that a bit. So we're not going to work with the global coordinate system because that's not what we use. We're going to use with a discrete orientation, which is a orientation that is going to be different for the problem we want to solve. Now, within this discrete orientation, it needs us to specify which one is our normal axis and which one is our primary axis. In this case, our primary axis will be the dominant fiber direction, the X direction or the one axis. So, so if you click here, now the first thing is going to say here is that, okay, how do you want to specify the normal axis 
so the normal to the main fiber direction which could be our three axis so in this case the three axis so it's saying that it can be a surface it can be a datum it can be a vector but we're going to work with a surface because of the way this problem is defined now okay if i zoom in here so these are surfaces that represent our third axis so we need the fiber going in this third direction so i'll take on this to specify or edit my surface okay so i could now click there this is fine okay so that means this will be the surface where i'll have a normal acting orientation so on that surface it will be acting in this z direction and this is fine and then we'll click done so instantly it applies that on that surface but remember we're applying everything on the whole domain so even though we're using this as a reference but it's applied on the whole domain because we selected all the fibers so all the fibers will inherit this behavior so that's number one so we specified our surface now it's saying what will be your primary direction your primary x direction in this case being the fiber direction so i'll take here because i know that the one axis is my primary direction and it's expecting that to be an edge okay so we can zoom back in here and i'll tick on this point to see which edge so i can just hover around there and tick there so you can see the color has changed showing that this is the edge of interest and then you click done now so if we zoom in a bit so you could say it's picked up this to be my one axis now picked up this to be my z axis now and then obviously the two axis has to do that automatically by creating a third axis so nothing else to do then we click continue and then okay so now within the orientation module here so there is now something assigned so all the fibers have been assigned with the properties that they need and if you now start looking closely through the material you could see now it's looking correctly even within this window is changing the one axis which is the fiber axis is changing and it's going to the other direction and everything is fine as we want then we can go back to the top here and say okay replace all so now replace all and then we'll go back to our section and say okay resume the metrics and then everything looks perfect so we've assigned the coordinate system and it's tracking the flow of the fiber so that when we assign our material properties our one direction will be clearly in that direction and this is how you're going to do this so if you're interested in this kind of videos please do subscribe to this channel so that when content like this are made you'll be the first to see it and i've got other videos similar to this where i show you abacus tips and tricks which you can see here by looking at this video thank you for your interest in this channel and i'll see you in the next video bye bye